So hopefully you listened to the Jen Weigel show that was in the link yesterday on my Instagram stories. I am going to give you some tips beyond that, that uh, I think are important. So here goes regarding the coronavirus, regarding the salon industry, regarding uh, you, the customer going back into the salon when this lockdown is over. You have the right to ask your stylist, your salon owner, your pedicurist, your manicurist, your facialist, your makeup artist, what is it that they are doing to protect you from virus, bacteria, infection? What are they doing to protect you? You can ask them, what are their procedures? And let them show you. And they can show you easily. They will say, if they're a good stylist, if they're a good makeup artist, look, I clean my brushes and then I sanitize them, which is the same thing basically, but disinfect is the extra step that they can do if it is a hard surface. If it is a metal, like a metal brush, they should clean and sanitize, which is soap and water, sudsing, 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 getting the hair off and letting it dry out and then disinfecting, which is a 10 minute process. It's going to sit in a disinfectant for 10 minutes and then rinsed and dried. And that is a procedure for a metal brush, just one metal brush. So you need to ask that of your stylist, of your blow dry styling station people. And that's what we do in good salons everywhere. We just clean and then we disinfect if we can, if it's a hard surface or a metal. If it is a boar br bristle brush, we can only really just clean sanitize. Uh, sudsy water, brush, 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 clean, 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 rinse, 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 let it dry. That is the most that we can do. It does not hold on uh, to bacteria and viruses. But we can't disinfect because it is a porous material. You can't disinfect really a porous material. And by the way, disinfectants are pesticides. Anything that kills something is a pesticide. Ooh, think about that. So that's why we don't want to use disinfectants on our hands. We want to sanitize, clean our hands, but don't get rid of the bad bacteria because guess what? Disinfectants, the killers, hurts us. It hurts our skin. It's a DNA disruptor. We don't really want to use those. Oh, the next thing I want to tell you about is when you are mixing your uh, disinfectants, the ratios, when you're mixing bleaches uh, with water, make sure bleach goes with cold water, number one. And bleach, you don't use the um, splashless bleaches or the scented bleaches. Those will never be disinfectants. They don't work. You have to use the straight on stinky bleach and you mix it down with water. And I think the, let's see, five tablespoons or a third cup per gallon of water is a good disinfectant. Four teaspoons of bleach to uh, one quart of water. So that's, that's a ratio. Don't go beyond that. And when you're using alcohol, only use 70% alcohol with your mixing ratios for those hand sanitizers. Don't go beyond because when you go beyond, you're only going to make your skin sensitive. You're going to hurt your skin. 